Hey Saints, I hope you're all doing well. Um, I wasn't sure I wasn't going to load up this video. I wasn't sure what direction to take it in, where to lead it. But this message is going to be different from the ones that I've done. Um, you've seen I've done a series of videos on Islam. And um, it was brutal truth. And um, when I do a topic, it'll be pretty much as the Holy Spirit leads. The reason why I'm talking about various things pertaining to sin is because we are in the last days. Today, I went to a meeting and on my way back, I looked up at the sky and I saw, look, I had to look twice to make sure what I saw was legitimate. And then I looked around me and other people witnessed it too. But I saw what looked like two suns. I saw um, one in the middle of the sky. You could just tell it was a glowing light, like a regular sun. And then towards the right, there was another sun. It looked like it was setting. So I always wondered, you know, all these posts and YouTube videos that people place up, if they're true about the two suns. And as it turns out, it is. And I wasn't the only one that witnessed this. I mean, other people noticed it. They were taking videos, uh, photos, everything. And I did a little bit of research on this topic. And as it turns out, and NASA's not saying anything, they're keeping it on the hush-hush, you know. But as it turns out, there is a small solar system. It is, um, it is the second sun. It's called Nemesis that I saw in the sky today. And there's three planets surrounding it, one of them being Nibiru. Now, I'm not going to get into the book of Revelation and say it's the wormwood and this, that, and the other. Okay? Um, do I believe it's possible? Yes. Do I know for a fact? No. So I'm not even going to go into that. I'm not going to take this conversation in that direction. But I truly believe that this system, the star system, is real and it rotates around our sun. So you have three planets rotating around the smaller sun, and then the smaller sun and the three planets rotate around our sun. And um, it takes 380 days to rotate around our sun, and the Earth rotates around the sun um, in 365 days, you know, our sun. And um, According to scientists, each time it makes a rotation, it gets closer and closer to Earth. Something like that. The rotation is supposedly slowing down. And um, I'm, again, I'm not depending on scientific knowledge. Um, I did the research myself. I went to the Lord and I asked about this. And from my understanding, okay, the planet is slowing the... The rotation of the Nemesis solar system, I'm going to call it that, around our sun is slowing down. It's, it rotates around our sun. 300, it takes 380 days to rotate and it is slowing down. Um, I have reason to believe the Earth's rotation is slowing down a little bit as well. Um, and I looked to see if there was any... I mean, there's Bible prophecy about this, how the Lord said that he was going to shorten the days for the elect's sake. I have reason to believe that the days are being shortened. That's actually happening. And I have reason to believe, okay, that the planet's rotating less. Um, I mean, scientists have said that um, Japan's Japan's day was shortened because of the uh, earthquake. There was this very powerful earthquake in Chile. And um, the last one was 8 point something on the Richter scale. And um, that was very, very powerful. So powerful, in fact, that it, it took the planet off its axis for a moment. And it slowed down the rotation even more of the planet. It messed up the rotation of the planet. I'm not going to say that that was the main thing, but it was one of the main things that messed up Earth's rotation. So 
Um, it wasn't just a pan that noticed that their day was shortened a little bit, it was others. And according to scientists, the days are shortening by so many minutes per day. And again, I don't depend on science at all, but I do agree that that's happening because I'm noticing it. And scientists don't understand why this is happening. I could say it's Bible prophecy. It is a fact. And if you look, I don't know if you live on the East Coast, but usually around this time of year, in autumn, it will start getting dark, let's say around 5, 5.30, 6 o'clock. And then um, usually towards the heart of winter, which would be um, towards the end of December, it'll start getting dark by like 4. But it's getting dark by at 4 o'clock now. I found that quite unusual, and I wasn't the only one that noticed it. I actually had a few brothers and sisters in Christ that pointed it out to me as well. I mean, it's getting dark early. It shouldn't be getting dark this early this soon. So, I just found that very interesting. I wanted to share that with you. Um... I believe that's one of the signs of the Most High's coming. He said there would be signs in the heavens and the stars, and also that uh, he will elect. He will shorten the days for his elect's sake. Um, it's one of the footprints to get the elect out of the way for some kind of catastrophe to hit. When I say out of the way, I don't I'm not implying the rapture here. It could be that God will protect his elect from what's to happen. It could be the rapture will take place. I don't know because nobody knows the day, the hour, or the year when the rapture will happen. But I just found it kind of interesting. And the atmosphere itself just looks different. It feels different. It feels different. You know... These times that we're living in, I've told you this before, are dangerous. I mean, when I was growing up as a kid, it was never like this, ever. Never like this. I have two sons, and um, at one point, I thought about having a third kid, you know, but then I thought to myself, I don't want no more kids. It's not that I don't find kids to be a blessing or beautiful. It's just because uh, I don't want to bring kids into this, what's going on. The tensions in the Middle East just keep rising and rising and rising. And there's cataclysmic weather worldwide that has never been seen before. I mean, the United States is getting hit with so many tornadoes and storms, weird storms. And, excuse me. And weird storms that have never been seen before. You know, the Lord said that these things will happen and these diseases, different diseases are popping up everywhere. It's pestilence, earthquakes in different places and volcanoes that have been sleeping for centuries are now waking up. It means that Jesus is coming, guys. That's encouraging news and at the same time, that means at the end, this is the end. The end is near. When I say this is the end, I mean that this is the last generation. So the only thing I can tell you guys is to make sure you're strong in your walk with Christ. Live Christ-like. Do what the Lord says. Please keep your garments clean, your oil lamp full. Don't be the five foolish virgins. Always be ready and watching for the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, I told y'all that the Lord said that uh, I'm going to be leaving the ministry soon. And I believed I was given a date. I need to make sure to the Father that this is the correct date. I'm not going to disclose it to you now. But um, before I even leave the ministry, I'm going to make a video talking about what to do. It's going to be a scenario where let's say if the rapture happens, what you need to do if the rapture happens and you were left behind. You know, uh, kind of like a guide. So many people are going to be left behind, guys and girls, and they need to hear this. So I'm going to make that video probably tonight. We'll see how that works out. All right, uh, saints, uh, until next time, stay blessed.